Want to know more about drawing with markers? Then you need to watch this video. Hello everybody, it's me, your old pal Max West. I draw comics and I also do children's picture books. Today I wanted to talk about something. Markers. Okay, now, if you're looking to color your work, you know, your comics, your cartoons or whatever, Markers are a very neat way to draw them, to color them in. They're very fast, you know, they're easy to use with some practice, and they reproduce very well. In fact, I drew my first children's picture book mostly in marker. I'll get to that in a moment. These are various markers come in all kinds of colors. You know, brown, green, pink, blue, yellow, red, purple, orange, and all that. Now, there are different kinds of markers. Some, like these here, these are alcohol-based markers. You know, some use dyes. Some are water-based. You know, try out different kinds. Now, there are, you know, various name brands out there. This one right here in my collection, this is a Prismacolor. This is one of the more affordable and well-known ones. There are some generic ones as well, made by um, various art chains, like this one is a uh, Blick Studio from Dick Blick. This one, Artist Sloth, I believe this came from Hobby Lobby. Now, let me give you some examples here of um, of work done in color. This fellow right here, this is Rusty Duncan. He's the protagonist of my comic series, Sunnyville Stories. He's a uh, house cat. This is an illustration I did with him in marker. Ah, see? Look how rich and vivid that color is. This is a piece of promotional art for a future book I'm doing. That lady is Hilda. She's part of Hilda and Richie, the very first children's book I've done, and at this time it's going to press. This is a teaser illustration for a future book they're going to have. This is called, uh, this is Hilda and Richie's Sandwich. Now, let's see, yeah. I mean, just look at that rich, vivid color there. Now, when you're working with markers, you'll need some other things. You'll need a good paper, you know, something ab absorbent, something sturdy. These were done on cardstock. Bristol is another good choice. You know, really thin papers aren't really good for markers. Also, you'll need to spend a little money because you'll want to invest in some good quality ones. Don't buy those cheap markers you see in the stores. Crayola, Prang, Colorific. You'll need something of good quality. It's also good to have some other things. You know, some, some pen or fine liner markers to ink your work. And another neat thing... They re these really blend markers with colored pencil. I'm going to give you a demonstration in just a bit. Now I have a drawing here. This is Rusty Duncan again. I'm going to give you a little demonstration here where I draw him. Alright, let's see here. Let's get some... Uh, some stuff here. All right, now I'm going to be using the colored pencil. I'm going to use a blue marker for his shirt. The colored pencil will be for his ears there, as well as his nose. Now let's see what else here. I'm going to, yeah, I store my markers here in a uh, in a plastic cup. Let's see. Get a black color there for the tabby stripes on his head. Alright, and yeah, we'll need a gray. 
Well, we don't want anything too dark like this, so I'll go with a 40% gray. All right. <clears throat> Let's get this demonstration started. All right. I'm going to mask in some of the uh, black areas here. Do it. his eyes, his nose. All right. See, now, something, now a lot of these markers I use, these are double-ended. They'll have a really small tip here, and on the other end, they have a really thick tip. Let me show you. Ah, you see there? All right, let's get started here. Yeah, I love markers. You can work very quick with them. They dry pretty quick, and they reproduce very well. All right, let's mask in his black tabby stripes. All right, there we go. All right, now I'm just going to... Work in the uh, colored pencil up there. Do the insides of his ears as well as his nose. I've already talked about colored pencils before. Yeah, this is a Faber Castell brand colored pencil. They're good. They also make some good pens and markers. All right, here. Let's do the inside of his ears. Check out my other video on working with colored pencils, by the way. I'll see if I can link to that below in the description. There we go. Let's just do his uh, nose. There we go. All right. Let's see if we can color in some of the fur there. as I've chosen a uh, cool gray. Okay, hold on a second here. Just having a little trouble here with one of the markers. Why do they have to put this on so tight? All right, let's... All right, let's just do some of the... for right there. Now, one of the downsides with markers is most brands, once they're empty, that's it. you got to throw them away. Some, though, are refillable, like the Copics. Those are a Japanese marker that are very popular with manga artists. They also sell liquids and refill kits that you can uh, you know, refill the markers. They're quite expensive, but some people find uh, find those worth it. So if you want to try tracking those down and using them, be my guest. All right. All right. Let's get, your, let's get that color in. Don't be afraid to experiment. I've used markers with colored pencil as well as inks. I've used some watercolor and gouache paint. This is a medium that, le that lends itself well to a uh, mixed media. So if you want to go ahead and try different things, go right ahead. And of course, yes, in addition to reproducing well, I love to retouch these digitally on the computer. I'm not going to talk about computer coloring. I don't use it that much, and there's much better, much better artists out there who can discuss coloring work on the computer better than I can. So go check some of that out if you're interested. All right, let's just get this, uh, get that colored.
And there we go. Now I got I got to do the shirt there. I mean, yeah, that white sweater there doesn't really work for Rusty. Hmm. Let me just pull out the blue marker that I selected earlier. And we'll get that done. <laughs> now on this one, since it's a lot of space to cover, I plan to uh, use that big, that big thick tip here I showed you before. Yeah. Markers are pretty versatile. You can do very detailed work. You can also cover in large areas of uh, color. They're easy to use with some practice. They reproduce well and they blend very good with other media. So let's get you colored in there, Rusty. marker is drying out. Yeah, that's a good sign. Now, if the ink looks kind of weak or uh, not much is coming out of the, uh, the tip there, that's a pretty good sign that it's probably drying out and you need to get a new one. One of the reasons people here, they like uh, using those refillable markers I just talked about. There we go, a nice drawing of Rusty Duncan, the star of Sunnyvale Stories. If you want to check out more of his adventures, you can just uh, check out the link below in the uh, video description. Just going to retouch that there and sign the work. There we go. Well, that's it for today. Now, go try out some markers. Hit the subscribe button for my channel. Until next time, this is your old buddy Max West saying goodbye.